Good morning. Happy Thursday. So, I, um, this is the first night that I spent in, uh, a new place, in my new room here. It's really cool. Just waking up now. Um, so I started thinking about something I read in that book that I was reading. Um, the, the Voice of Knowledge from Don Miguel Ruiz. And what it says is that we have this voice in our head. And the voice tells us lies. It's just based on our belief system, based on, our, on, on all the things that we kind of got programmed with through, you know, society, through our childhood and stuff like that. Um, and they gave an example about, um, from that movie, The Beautiful Mind. So the guy, um, he was a schizophrenic. And, like, I think um, Ed Harris played this other guy who was, like, this CIA person, but he was fictional. He was in uh, Russell Crowe's mind, right? And, like, he was just being controlled by this guy because he was just telling him what to do. And so um, I've been I've been reading other books about, like, that voice inside your head, like The Surrender Experiment, which is awesome by Michael Singer. But anyway... We have this voice in our head that's like always talking to us, but it's telling us lies and we don't have to listen to it. We actually can choose to ignore it. So that's what I'm trying to be aware. And we can do that by just raising our consciousness, just being more aware, being more conscious and um, just kind of observing what it's saying rather than just like, blindly listening to it and blindly following it um because most of the time it's wrong (laughs) most of the time it gets you into trouble sometimes if it goes too far it can ruin your life so just kind of think about that today as you're waking up as you're going through your day kind of don't necessarily align or agree with that voice just kind of just listen to it does it make sense is what it's saying true and the more you kind of choose to ignore that voice the more awareness you'll have and the more free you'll be Okay, so I'm almost done with that audio book, The um, Beyond Positive Thinking. About to uh, finish that up now and then move on to another audio. So I started listening to another audio because I finished the other one, and it's um, from Money Master the Game by Anthony Robbins. It's really, really good. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. It's not like exactly an audio book, but it's just um, Tony Robbins just talking about the book and talking about the steps to. Um, smart investing pretty much it's really good so now I am going to run for 30 minutes okay so I just finished up my run uh, and I'm in Central Market right now about to get some food for the house so I went food shopping got a bunch of stuff for the house don't have a car yet, so I am going to just walk it. I was gonna call an Uber, but I'm like, eh, just, you know, save some money. Oh, 13 minute walk carrying a whole bunch of heavy packages. Not so bad. On second thought, it's actually too heavy. I tried it, I'm calling an Uber. I straightened up my room a little bit. It's a bit neater. Still gotta go through the stuff I put in the closet and organize it, but making progress. This is my second meal of chickpeas, and I put a little bit of hummus in there and a little bit of greens. Mmm, healthy. Shop the cut. I'm riding in the shopping cart, shopping cart. I'm riding through the aisles of a supermarket. Supermarket is target for the shopping cart. Shopping cart. I'm at a target and I'm shopping for a lot of things that I need for the house. For the house that I live in with my 
and that gentleman over there said that it looks like a Peruvian hat and he took a picture, you know, he showed me a picture of a Peruvian hat and it looks very similar. I like these hats, we should get them. I like an Arendalian hat better though. I don't know what that means. Are they from Arendelle? Arendelle. Yo, should I wear this? I kind of like this hat. Let me see. You look very, 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 very businessy. Very what? Prepare to interview. Businessy? Yeah. I actually think I might buy this. <laughs> So just left Target. The plan is most likely to go to dinner and probably go see a movie. Maybe Captain America. I'm not a huge Marvel fan, but uh, why not? Kind of heard it was good, so check it out. So we met up with Tara's friends. Uh, Rod is over there. This is what's your name, Zach? Hey, this is Zach. And uh, we were just at that place over there somewhere, and then we just went to that place. Um, we were looking for food. I haven't drank yet. Actually, no, I had one shot of Fireball. Um, <laughs> not really looking to drink that much. Doesn't look like we're really gonna go to the movies tonight. Ah! <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, you know, their appetizer is way bigger than mine, and it looks like boobs. Bugs. Hello, oh, woman. Manic... Hello, dog. Hello, Rod. Hello, Arthur D2. This is Rod's secret room. It's the boom boom room. Bicycles. This is Nibbler. Hi Nibbler. This is a RAM project, guys. <laughs> a real RAM project. Read, audio, meditate, move, and butt a ball with your head. RAM a ball with your head? There you go. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's He's get, gonna it. Get, it. Get, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a ram. You will. Oh shit, he's starting to tear apart. Boom. It's yeah. like a pinata. I don't care how much it is, I want to buy it all. Buy it all. Like the cameras, like the TVs, like everything. 